While students get their school supplies ready for class next week, the grown-ups at one of Michigan's largest school districts are embroiled in political drama. Thank you for staying with us. I'm Glenda Lewis. And I'm Brian Abel. Later tonight, a huge crowd is expected to turn out at the Ann Arbor School Board meeting as a superintendent's job hangs in the balance. Seven investigator Heather Catalo first broke the story that brought all of this drama into the spotlight. And she joins us now with a look at how some of the district's unions are responding. The screams of this second grader are hard to forget. A school bus aide caught on video repeatedly slapping a special needs student who was in a restraint harness. The aide was convicted of child abuse and the seven investigators first showed you that the boy's mother is now suing Ann Arbor Public Schools, alleging leadership at Carpenter Elementary School covered up the assault for five weeks. Our job is to protect our kids and the school didn't give me that chance because they hid it from me. That story prompted a group of nearly 100 parents to send this letter to Ann Arbor Schools Superintendent Dr. Janice Swift, demanding her resignation for this incident and other issues. Swift did not resign, but on August 7th, the Ann Arbor School Board did vote 4-3 to three to give the superintendent a pre-termination letter, setting the stage for her possible removal. Before that special school board meeting, a group of former board trustees issued public statements alleging the board was violating the Open Meetings Act. Multiple current trustees deny that. Has the board violated the Open Meeting Act? No. The vote that happened last week, that wasn't something that we kind of got together and planned beforehand. We had no idea actually who was going to vote what before it happened. School board trustee Jacinda Townsend Guidus says the bus incident was just the latest in several concerns about district leadership that some board members have had for months. To see a child being abused like that by an adult was really hard for me and to then know that my district didn't tell that parent for five weeks is even more for me. But officials from Ann Arbor Public Schools six labor unions say they were blindsided. We sit at the heart of everything that's going on and just to not be included and be a part of this process has just been really hard. Are you advocating for Dr. Swift to stay or more advocating for concern about the process? This is a concern over process, not the person. We believe in due process. I know that her contract has, uh, the board has the ability to fire her without cause. Um, and, but often I've told my students, just because you can do something doesn't mean you should do something. Union leaders Fred Klein and Natasha York say they will attend tonight's school board meeting and say they don't want the adult infighting related to the board to affect their students. So our hope is really to keep that drama out of this and make sure we focus on what's important right now, which is successfully greeting our kids on August 28th and ensuring that they have the best possible year. In Ann Arbor, I'm Heather Catalo, 7 Action News. And coming up tonight on 7 Action News at 6, board members are speaking out about all that adult drama. One of them alleging her daughter's private bullying experience is being shared with the board as political fodder. 7 Investigator Heather Catalo will show you that and other allegations of past board members trying to disrupt the board process. Brian.